Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm sharing the new kits that are releasing at Studio Calico. Today is March 1st, 2022. There are new kits and add-on stamp sets and even some add-on embellishments. And the add-on embellishments are so, so good. Anyways, I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna share the embellishments first and then we'll get into the add-on stamp sets and then the kits. So let's get to it and share with you all the new add-ons. Okay, so this month there are these adorable chipboard hearts. They are so pretty and they're like in rainbow order and they are adorable. Love these. They had these a few months ago in one of the kits, I think, and they just did so well that they brought them back as an add-on embellishment. So you have those chipboards and the new die cuts, the monthly die cuts. So, okay, so I pulled these out of the bag because the baggie is kind of annoying and small. Anyways, uh, so if you've watched any of my recent unboxings of Studio Calico kits, the January release, uh, you could have purchased these die cuts, this pack of die cuts, and it was all about January, February, March. So you can add those to your kits. And now they've released in March, no, April, May, and June. So they come in like different sizes. There's May and there's April. Look how cute that is. And you can just add them to your spreads. These are perfect for, by the way, traveler's notebooks. You get two of each. Look at that May. It is just so, so pretty. I'm so excited for the May one. And then you have like four and five and six. So these are so fun. Look at the June. Really, really pretty. Nice little add-on to add to your kits. And, you know, add them to your pocket pages or your traveler's notebooks. These are going to be so much fun to work with. But anyways, those are the add-on embellishments. Let's get to the add-on stamp sets. Okay, so we have a few add-on stamp sets. And this one, this first one is a basic one with circles that you can fill out with grid or lined uh, circles. And then you can add the dates. So this is actually perfect if you like to add the dates to your layouts. You can just stamp the circle, maybe add some color and some grid there or stripes, and then fill it out with the date, which is a lot of fun. And it's different than just stamping with your date stamp. This next one is all about the Olympics. And so you have the rings for the Olympics, and then you have like skis, then you have Beijing 2022, and then you can stamp it as well. So that one's a lot of fun if you are documenting the Olympics this year. I'm excited about this spring stamp set. It is designed by Inna Creative Bubble, who I really, really love. And so you have the circles. And what I love is you can fill your circle with the flowers, with the sun, with the map and the like the little umbrella even the dove so so cute i love this and it says in full bloom spring bloom and grow i'm so excited for this and this is going to go really well with the subscription stamp set this month which i will be sharing in a bit another favorite this is all about friendship and friends and i've been wanting one for ages so uh, i'm a huge fan of kind of documenting my friends and I love my friends. So this stamp is this stamp set is gonna work out really, really well. It has the girl talk, the inner circle, social hour, this is us. We go way back. That one's gonna work really well with a lot of my friends. Love that add-on stamp set. And then we have this one, which is all about documenting your love for the US. And I love that land of the free because of the brave. Look at that. That is just adorable. You can create your own American flag with your ice cream. That's just way too cute. Then you can stamp out the American flag. That one's really, really good. That's going to be great for the 4th of July. And then a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it was last month. I can't even remember. But they released the same font, but months. And now you get the weeks or the days of the week stamp set so this is going to go really well with the month one and you have you know uh, monday through sunday and then weekend last every day day to day week this is also great for those project lifers out there okay last but not least 
is this adorable stamp set that you can kind of document the little things. I love that little things in life, just simple. You have a camera, a notebook, a little circle that you can stamp those in, and a Polaroid. Go make today super magical. This stamp set, you see the endlessly creating, this is going to go really well with, I think, the Traveler's Notebook stamp. Uh, there's a little um, filler stamp in there that's going to work with this endlessly creating. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's get to the kits. I'm going to share with you the stamp subscription. And again, it is designed by In a Creative Bubble, which makes me so, so, so happy. And you have the little flowers that you can fill out in the circles, a change uh, of scenery, love the little clouds relax enjoy the best part of today it'll be okay just little things that you can add into the circles and build your own circle i think that that add-on stamp set works the spring one the, maybe the circles fit in there yeah you can use these too i mean they're smaller but it works in these so as you can see like it fills out the smaller circles the bigger circles, maybe if you stamp that in there and then that in there, if that makes sense. So you do three circles in one, but those will, will work out really well together as well. So that is the stamp subscription. I still want to share with you the documenter kit and the traveler's notebook kit. Okay, so let's check out the documenter kit. Again, it always comes in these really fun pouches, which I use all the time for all the things. Um, so first off, the kit comes with these vellum stars, which is awesome. I love vellum. I like vellum more than acetate when it comes to embellishments, but you get different sizes, different colors. And again, they are vellum. I feel like acetate is hard to use. I don't know. You also get the wood veneer. So this one is March and it's blue. I haven't figured out how I'm using mine yet. I need to, but they are so cute and I love the colors. So I really need to figure out how to add those into my project life. Uh, let's leave the stamp set for later. You get some circle chipboards and these are large and beautiful. I love the colors of these chipboards and they're so, so big and they're so springy. I love the no bad days. Stay on the sunny side. Good stuff. Wonderful. Really fun. So excited for those. I, um, I'm a big fan of Studio Calico's chipboard. You get some word stickers in yellow. So you have like your typical uh, so happy documented a new day. Today was a bad day. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, today was a good day because we don't always have good days. And then create things and totally awesome. Love that color. You guys know I love my yellow. You get some alpha stickers in blue. I've shared these packs before. You get about four, I think, of the alphas, which is pretty cool. You also get chipboard cameras. You guys, these are so good. They've shared these chipboards before, like in other kits. I think they even did like a color theory kit with the cameras. But these are different because... It's like there's photography, like there's a photo, there's um, waves, there's flowers, there's a city, houses. These are so, so cute and I am so excited for them. Those are going to be awesome in my project life. Anyways, moving on, I wanted to share with you the stamp set. So the stamp set is again circles and then you can fill out the circles with these words. It just says make every day lovely and then beautiful. I love that beautiful so that one's exciting and very like simple obviously it's for our project life so it's going to work out perfectly okay so now let's take a look at the cards this is my favorite part of my documenter kit i'm a huge card fan for studio calico um, i know a lot of people prefer like the embellishments and stuff but i just love the cards and every month i get so excited to open up my card pack so let's start with the four by sixes um i decided this time around to put the embellishments on the side so i have more space to share the cards so they're always double-sided love that you are made of stardust and wishes and magical things so good again double-sided I saw a sneak of this. Obviously, they share it with the creative team, like the kits. 
and I think the first thing I looked at was this card and it's so adorable. It actually has lines and it says title, TV show or movie and it's in a TV screen. It's so cute and it says now watching. That's the other side but that one's cuter so we're going to share that side. <laughs> in order to bloom you must grow. So fun. That's a nice pattern. And then we can look at the three by fours. So I'm going to speed this up and share the three by fours with you. Oh, this is so pretty. I love that yellow with the flowers. Oh, grow with the flow. That one's so good. I'm so excited about that. And look at this one. Let's get lost in a world of books and daydreams. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have to print this one multiple times. That is freaking adorable. That is totally going in one of my reading projects because that is just too cute. Okay, those are the cards that uh, come with the documenter kit. They are so, 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 so good. I'm excited for them. I know you guys can hear my excitement because I'm always so excited when I unbox my Studio Calco stuff. But anyways, I am going to share with you, I'm put this away and then share with you the Traveler's Notebook Kit. Okay, let's open this up and check out what comes in the Traveler's Notebook Kit this month. I can already tell there's a lot of goodies. Let's start with the washi tape. This is so colorful. Let me open this up real quick. Okay, you guys, this is a really, really pretty washi. Look at that. I love the pink. The pink looks so much better when you open it. I was kind of scared that it's going to be that dark pink. I'm not a big fan of pink, but when it's like a blush like that, I'm loving it. I love that color. So cute. Beautiful flowers. Works really well with March. You get those vellum stars again. You also get some gold uh, puffy stickers. They have ribbon and stars and dots and hearts. I am not a fan of like the ribbon situation. I've never been a fan of ribbon. Um, I will probably end up using the puffy stickers and not using those ribbons and probably give it to somebody. Uh, which is fine with me. And then you have some circle stickers. So I'm getting the vibe that a lot of these kits this month have circles, which is fine. Uh, you have the beautiful, be kind, wonderful, in full bloom. There is light inside of you. Make today happy. I love these stickers because they're matte and you can write on them if you wanted to or stamp on them. Some white alphas. Okay, let's take a look at the stamp set. So the stamp set is very, very cute. It has life, doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Then you have wonderful to the stars. I think I mentioned earlier about the Traveler's Notebook stamp set going like well with that add-on stamp set. I don't know, when I saw this add-on stamp set, I felt like you can use that like, I don't know, that shape there. I don't even know what you call it that blob to add to that endlessly creating. And I think you can, because like if, if you see this, let me do that. You can probably stamp it or maybe just stamp the other blob, the filler blob. I don't know. I just, when I saw it, that's what I saw. Like that's how I felt. Anyways, um, that is the stamp set that comes in the Traveler's Notebook kit. And let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. So for the Traveler's Notebook, they use those vellum stars or they look like those vellum stars that come in the kit. So I'm, I have this feeling that we're gonna have a lot of stars in here or circles. So let's take a quick look. Oh, I'm so excited. They have that card pattern in here. Love that card, it is so cute. Maybe they have the bookshelves as well. We will see. Oh, love it when they do that. I love these types of spreads. I always end up using them. Um, last time they had, I think, yes and no and stuff like that. So they have sunny day, rainy day. So this is a fun spread to just add a photo of a sunny day 
at a photo of a gloomy day and kind of document it in your traveler's notebook. You guys, they did add the shelves. I'm so excited. This is so cute. I'm telling you, I am totally printing out the card for this because that is just so, so cute. So excited about it. Anything that has to do with books, I'm excited about. I really like this month's Traveler's Notebook. It is so good, full of great patterns. Love the kit, so excited. Can't wait to use it and share with you all the things. But for today, um, for my process video, I'm gonna be using the Documenter Kit. I need to catch up on my project life. So I decided that I'm gonna use the Documenter Kit for this video and put together, I think, week four, if I'm not mistaken. So if you wanna see how I use the new documenter kit in my Project Life spread, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's start working on week four in my Project Life. I'm gonna be using the new Studio Calco documenter kit, and I'm just gonna go ahead, add my photos, then start going through my cards. Now, there was a few title cards that I really, really liked. It was the half circle title card in this navy blue. They were just so pretty, I couldn't make up my mind. So I just end up adding both of them for now until I figure out which three by four cards I'm gonna use on my spread. Now I do need a journaling card, so I'm looking for one to add into one of my pockets. And I'm gonna also be using just a filler card. So I really actually, when I was going through the three by fours, I really liked the starburst three by four. So because I had that in mind, I decide I'm actually going to use the half circle four by six card. I felt like the colors matched. It matched my sweater in one of the photos and I really like the starburst. So I'm just going to go with that one. I'm going to set my layout aside and start working on my title card. Now for the title card, I thought it would be fun to add one of those large chipboard circles right in the center of the half circle and then use the navy blue alphas to add week four. But the navy blue is not gonna match my spread. So what do I do? I'm going to color them in. I do this all the time. You can use markers, Sharpies, whatever you have on hand to color them in. Because they are matte, it's much easier to just color them in with any marker. So I ended up coloring them in with black and I'm just going to add week four. I felt like the circle, I've added it too high up. So I moved it down a little bit and now I can add week on the opposite side. And I had a lot of space in the center, which was perfect to stamp the date of the week. And once I stamp that out and add a little bit of doodling to my half circle, I'm going to call my title card done. Now, because my title card is very uh, circle themed, I am going to stick to that. I thought my coffee mug fit really well. So I used the stamp set from the kit to stamp a little circle right in the center of my coffee mug and a sentiment just to fill it out and kind of bring in more of those circles from my title card. And because I'm really liking the circles, I'm going to end up using another one of those chipboard circles for my snow photo. I'm going to add the blue one. It fit really well with my photo, but I'm going to color in my alphas in black again and then just spell out snow and add it to the center of my chipboard circle. I just really like that look of the chipboard on my title card and the alphas. So I combined them and added them to my snow photo. Like I said earlier, I needed a journaling card. I don't want to add too much to my journaling card because obviously I want to journal, but I will stamp out that beautiful right in the center and I will end up taking this to my typewriter and adding my journaling to my journaling card. And then I'm going to decide on my three by four card. Love the red. It matched my photo here. 
And because I'm doing the whole circle thing, to change it up, I'm not going with the chipboards. I really like the circles on that four by six uh, card. I felt like I'll get more out of punching the circles out than just using it as a full four by six card. So I punched one out and I wanted to create a little cluster. So I used some of those yellow word stickers. And once I added the yellow, I thought it would be smart to add yellow to the other photos on my spread. So I just end up using some of those word stickers to this photo of our yummy food and another photo of my mom and I, and then I call my layout done. Don't forget, today is release day at Studio Calico. I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.